Good morning, interwebs. It's 11.40 and we are already out and about. I've been up and dressed and all the things and it's warm today and we went to the bank and got a cash out for this pay period that just happened and now we are at the library where I put a bajillion books on hold. So we're gonna pick those up and then go run some more errands. Successful library trip, and now we are at the thrift store. And my personal shopper found something he thinks I need. What, what do I need? A shake, a what, shake what, weight. Now, how does it work? I, I don't know. You'll have to go try it out. I'd be happy to hold the camera for you while you try it. My, my, my hands are my hands are full. No? Well, you can do it one-handed as well. So we're here again. Yep. Different set of this. One. And look, look, look at the cinnamon twist. I love the cinnamon twists and they're on sale for 49 cents a pop right now. They didn't even have them before and now they're on sale. <laughs> yep. I, I looked, I thought they didn't have the cinnamon twist. They only had the little cinnamon delights. Oh really? Oh, maybe you're right. Anyways, they had them today and that's all that matters. So our eyes are bigger than our stomachs. So we're taking home some nachos for grande. And... Yeah, what is it called? A cheesy gordita crunch and then some more of the little like melty cheese. I don't know, I guess we just weren't that hungry. I just figured I would show you that we're taking the leftovers home because I watch a lot of vloggers who go out to eat like every day and I swear they eat half their plate and then they never show themselves holding any food we're walking going, to the car. And that's just wasteful, wasteful, wasteful. It's a little before six, I'm making tea in my new pot. I got a corning where, um, like kettle today at the thrift store for three dollars which eh, is kind of a middle of the roadish price but you know corningware stuff doesn't usually stick around very long especially not like it's in perfect condition like none of the blue paint is worn or anything it doesn't like it's hardly been used um so i'm excited to be making some tea in that so apparently in an effort to burn my house down i uh, wanted to heat up my tea that got cold while i was filming my lasagna tutorial for um, Feed Your Face February. And I had the little things hanging down and I forgot, cause I'm still not used to the having flame on my stove. And yeah, the little paper bits of my tea bags kind of caught on fire a little, but they went out. So that's good. <laughs> it just kind of surprised me a little. It shouldn't, I should just be smarter is what, you know. And the fact that I'm not should be a surprise to nobody. That's my oven saying it's the right temperature. So now the lasagna can cook, cook, cook. So it's about 3.20 and I am headed to bed and you shall be proud of me that I am actually filming like saying goodnight because the battery was charging and the memory card was in the computer and I was gonna just go to bed and either say goodnight tomorrow morning or just not say goodnight and then I was like, no, you need to do it. Blah. Anyways, so I'm doing it, so goodnight. <laughs> um, what did we do today? Oh. So my neighbor, who's like not like immediately adjacent, but the next person down the road from me is apparently selling puppies. This does not matter to me because I do not want a puppy, but apparently GPS keeps telling people that our house is her house because I had two random guys show up to buy puppies tonight, which is just random. And I don't like people like coming to the house when I know they're coming, let alone like surprise knock, knock, knocks on my door. Not a fan. And the dog is not a fan either. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so that happened and I went up town after the kids went to bed because I needed to get some more newspaper out of the recycling bin so that Steve could shred it into cat litter because we don't use like commercial cat litter. Um, we shred newspaper and use that. And there used to be a whole bunch of newspaper at the sheriff's department that Steve would just use that. Well, they quit their subscription to the paper, I guess, which I think is a good plan and like a good money saving measure and all that. But that kind of cut down on our paper source. He can still shred the paper there. He just needs to bring his own. So I went to get it 
Um, I was going to go, like all the kids were napping, but then the first guy showed up to ask about the puppies. So then Steve was home, but he was sleeping and I didn't really want to leave the kids alone in case other random people showed up knocking at the door, you know? So I, uh, I waited till I went to bed and then, cause clearly by then it was like after 10 and if anybody was knocking on our door, no one was answering anyways. So I went uptown and I needed to lean into the box because I was too short to grab the paper because like the boxes are like, I don't know, waist high on me. So I like kind of tipped the box. Well, apparently the bottom of the box is now slightly unfolded <laughs> and I couldn't get it back. So they'll have to fix that when the recycling people come to pick up the recycling <laughs> from the county. But luckily it was 11 o'clock and nobody knows it's me, except all of you because I just told you, but nobody in town knows it's me. And I was also looking, Today, when we were at the thrift store, we got some of the green, like, garlandy stuff. So I put that up for St. Patrick's Day. I also changed out my pink artificial flowers for these green ones I bought at Christmas and never got around to using. Um, I don't know if they're all going to stay in these places, but these are just in a, like, a mason jar. Uh, this little sunflower had been up in our bedroom. I actually got that. On a trip to Kansas once when I was younger when we came to visit my grandma. These flowers are actually pulled out of the arrangement that I made in my uh, Vlogtober 31 Projects in 31 Days arrangement. And they are in a thing from when the Barnes Telephone Company was originally, I don't know, it's, it says 1921 to 1974. Our town used to have its own telephone company and obviously my... Uh, my grandparents were part of it, and actually my grandpa was pretty important and instrumental in it happening at all. So we had this little planter, and it was upstairs too. When I was cleaning things out in our bedroom, I washed it off and decided to put some flowers in it. That's the cake topper from Steve and my wedding cake. I say the term cake loosely because it was Rice Krispie Treats and Jello Blocks. And these are in this vase that one time when we were dating, <laughs> Steve and I went to one of those like color me mine pottery places for a date, which by the way is crazy expensive. And it was a good thing that we went when we were in high school and had like lots of disposable income because I think for him and I and like to get everything fired, I made him, I'll show it to you sometime, a uh, an ice cream cone thing and he used to keep his track spikes in it. He made me this face and I think we spent like $80 on that date. But we spent the whole afternoon there and we had a good time and we still have the items. So I guess it was worth it. But it was in March of 2002 because I told him he was going to, I was like, can you date it? And then he wrote in big letters from Steve 302. It was like, that wasn't quite what I had in mind. I thought the I love you that he put on the front without being prompted. Now that part was cute, but his name and giant letters on the back, well, you know, he's not always the most graceful. <laughs> but I've had that in my room and all my apartments and it had been in our bedroom, I think. And then it was just kind of sitting around. Anyways, I cleaned her up, set her out so we can see her now, kind of along this back ledgy bit, it's kind of just becoming a decorative spot. We still haven't put the piece in that's going to be like the, the back splashy thing to the stove. But it'll have its time and our table's just... Kids are doing more scrapbooking things and then my daughter was doing this melty bead thing. This like perler bead set I got for a dollar at Walmart a while ago and it's to make like a uh, tic-tac-toe board. And it had just been in a bag with some clearance yarn that she had bought with her own money. I'd have been stored in my craft room and I was like, hey, you need to find something else to do with your yarn. And I was like, oh, and by the way, why don't you read the instructions and figure out how to do this on your own? So she did. I did the ironing part, but she did the rest of it and figured it out on her own. So she was going to finish making those pieces tomorrow and then we'll get to play with those some more. And see, my, I wasn't even going to pick up the camera, it turned into me babbling on for a very long time. But I think that caught you up on my evening. I spent my evening making a blanket. It's not quite done yet, but blankets take a while. Ugh, yes. Especially because I can see it in my head and it does not yet exist on Ravelry when I look. I think the reason it doesn't exist is because what I want in my head is a pain in the butt and nobody wants to make it. That's why. 
Um, so I'm making something that is slightly less like what's in my head that's slightly less of a pain in the butt. So we'll see how that all turns out. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go put on my pajamas. I'm going to go crawl in my bed. I have a feeling that there's probably a kid already up there. But who knows? We'll see. If there's not, I might watch some TV before I go to sleep. But anyways, I will talk to you all tomorrow. Nighty night.